Week four is a very interesting week. My expectations were higher this week based on how much I enjoyed last week's episode. Um, and it was slightly a letdown, but not completely. Uh, let me let me explain a little bit about what I mean by that. I've been looking for this episode for weeks, pretty much since I finished the pilot. I got excited about this episode called Fallon's Wedding because I loved Fallon. Fallon was amazing in oil, just extraordinary. And again, she's never been that vicious since, and that's a problem. It's a big problem because I want her to be vicious. Someone needs to be really, really cruel in this show, and we don't have someone extremely mean at the moment. Um, I think the letdown of it was because it was called Fallon's Wedding, very little had to do with Fallon's Wedding, and it wasn't even shown. The ceremony was not even shown in the episode. They just kind of got hitched at Vegas. Um, and I get it was a whim decision, and she felt like she had to because she had feelings for Cecil, who was his uncle. But she ended up just doing it to help out her father financially, and her father approved of her and Jeff getting married. It's just... Um, that was interesting, but it wasn't the main thrux of the episode. There was, um, I the storyline that they spent the most time on, and I was surprised by this, was Stephen and his ex-lover, um, who I am blanking on his name right now, but he had a roommate in college, and they uh, were lovers together, and he comes back into town and is trying to convince Stephen to come back and live with him in New York. And Stephen's like, I'm not going to do that. I need to find out who I am. And the guy's like, well, are you afraid what dad's going to say? And he's like, dad already knows. And all of this sort of stuff. This should have been a C storyline. And it was an A storyline for this episode. The, um, the other kind of storyline that was talked about was um the driver almost gets th the driver who is in love with Fallon and who Fallon can't stand but is uh, unbelievably attracted to she can't keep away from him but she kind of teases him and is trying to be in a position of power over him he did something, uh, tried to intimidate one of, um, Blake's, uh, clients, I believe, and anyways, Blake said, you could have been thrown in jail, and I could have gone in jail with you, but I like you, because you remind me of me when I was your age, and so this driver character is now, um, being, is going to be given assignments, uh, that are top secret assignments for the Carrington Oil Company. And uh, he's not supposed to ask, ask questions. He's just supposed to be loyal to the Carrington clan. I, you just have a feeling that these things are being set up now to be completely destroyed in the future. And uh, that was pretty much all that happened in this episode. Um... Again, the to be continued was pretty obvious where it was going to be. And it was when Jeff and Fallon come back and they announce, Hey, we got married! And it's like 3 o'clock in the morning and everyone was like, Oh, that's wonderful! Even though they would have been like, How dare you not have a big ceremony? We're a big family. How dare you get hitched in Vegas? So they wouldn't have responded that way, I didn't think. But, I mean... I'm not a show creator, so I can't speak for how they ran their show. Um, the uh, My favorite character so far 
who, um, again, her name escapes me, um, but she wasn't even in it. And if you've been following this, you know who my favorite character is, the woman who was in the mental institution in oil. And she had just the most interesting character to me, like the most distinguishable character apart from the sh show that this show is ripping itself off from, which was Dallas. It was a very non-Dallas character. I think that's what I really liked about her. Um, favorite moment, I described it. Um, I really loved the scene when Blake is giving the driver, um, telling him he's going to be given these like top secret assignments. I thought it was very intriguing. It's a good setup for future scenarios that will obviously, hopefully be paid off in the future. Out of four, I think I've been, no, out of five, a rating out of five, I would give this a three. It's a step down from last week's episode, but it's still better than the second week episode because that was boring as crap. Now, if you guys are watching along with me, um, we get a break next week. There's no new week, no new episode next week. Um, but fairly soon it will be a double episode week. Um, but yeah, so next week, forget about next week. Next week is off and then we're back on for Monday, I believe the 16th. Um, anyways, I will catch you guys later. I hope you're enjoying the study. I am. It makes Mondays a little bit more bearable. And uh, the show is going places, at the very least. Um, so the show's still trying to find itself, but I'm okay with where they are right now, because I think they'll eventually find themselves, maybe even within this year, and they'll make some changes next year. But in my mind, it might even become a good show by the end of this year. So anyways, I will catch you guys in two weeks. Peace.